Hello, Juliet. I'm obsessed with your outfit. It's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. That's Courage. It's a French brand. Amazing. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Um, I am fascinated by this series. I'm about halfway through and I am loving it. I think you're incredible. Ben is incredible. He had so many nice things to say about you. He said you were basically like the, the goat to get, like the perfect <laughs> casting for this role. Um, and I want to ask you, as a French actress playing someone like Coco Chanel, was there something about her that you knew you had to get right? Whether it was her cadence, her mannerisms, like the one thing that was her. Uh, I think that was to, uh, to the, so people could feel how, you know, vulnerable she is somehow. And that explains why she's so strong, to hide the poor childhood she had, you know, the background she had that she always tried to hide. And also she learned to lie about her childhood and how poor she was. So there was always in her the fear of being seen as she was. And I, I think it was horrible, you know, uh, to live that way because it meant she could never be herself really. She, she was uh, creating a persona and a way to survive in order to be recognized because that need was so big in her. Um, when I started, you know, reading about her, I was so shocked by the childhood she had. It was uh, so profoundly hurt and traumatized. So it explains a lot of her behavior, a lot of her needs of being, becoming this big, big iconic person and being recognized. She was not really after money. I don't think so. I think even though with the Wertheimer's battle that had happened, I think it was more of the recognition of herself and the fact that the Wertheimer's were wanted to make her products into more available in cosmetics. She wanted luxury. She was raving about luxury, the thing that you're, you cannot attain but you you want, and I, she probably felt like it was like was bringing up desire. But the garments she wanted everybody to to uh, to dress like her. So she had a very different kind of uh, um, relationship to uh, her creation as far as uh, clothes go. Yeah, and I love the kind of the way this series is going is showing a lot of uh, connection between art and healing in a way. I think she found. Like you were talking about her her childhood, I feel like she healed a lot of it through fashion, through art, and through drawings and things. Um, do you feel the same? And healing, but hiding. Healing, healing, but healing hiding. and hiding, and and trying to change, to transform, and become this nonchalant, elegant figure, and impeccable, and and yet she was making liberating women through changing material like jersey or uh, getting rid of the corset or shortening, uh, shortening the, the, the skirts or cutting her hair, things like that that, you know, felt at the time like freeing, Absolutely. freeing women. And for my, my last question for you is what do you hope that audience, audiences take from watching the new book? Well, that you see that It's not all black and white. It's there are a lot of nuances and a lot of different perspectives of of uh, actions and behaviors, and that's what what is fascinating to try and understand why people are behaving and where they come from. Um, I think so. Uh, I haven't seen the show though because. Uh, uh, you know, I've been quite busy, but I've seen, I've been dubbing in French part of, uh, of, uh, of my side, but I'm eager to go and see it. Well, it's really great. I've seen about half of it so far and I'm loving it. So okay, I cool. can't wait for everyone to jump onto Apple TV Plus and check out the new look. Wonderful. Thank you.